How does fasting benefit hormones? Fasting glucose levels in plasma reflect the interplay between basal whole body glucose disposal and glucose regulation. What this is saying is you will become more insulin sensitive. When I'm first working with clients and we're talking about people who are dealing with insulin resistance or even diabetes, we start to talk about what strategies can you do to improve your metabolic health. And we think about even walking after meals, um, lowering your carbohydrate intake, increasing your protein intake, eating less frequently. There was a large cross-sectional study with 118 individuals that the prevalence of impaired fasting glucose was higher in men than women. I found that really interesting. There was a cohort of 8,000 Swedish men and women evaluated for insulin and prevalence of impaired fasting glucose and diabetes was twofold higher in men compared to women. So now we're, gonna t we're kind of weaving in these statistics about differences between men and women. And based on large cross-sectional trials, men might be more prone to insulin resistance than women. I again found this surprising. Higher glucose uptake in female skeletal muscle, which means more insulin sensitivity. We want to think about muscles as an organ of longevity. You want to maintain muscle mass as you get older, can also help with this insulin sensitivity. This is why when I'm working with women, I talk about the importance of doing strength training, not doing chronic cardio. Walking is great and doing, you know, if you want to do Orange Theory Fitness and that works for you, great. But one of the most important things you can do, and this is not specific to men, but for both genders is to really make sure that you're maintaining lean muscle mass. 